Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be baking some homemade chocolate chip cookies, but we're going to turn these chocolate chip cookies into ice cream sandwiches. Never done this before. I actually made cookies once in my lifetime and they did not turn out right. I like to think of myself as a okay baker when it comes to like box stuff i can follow directions perfectly but when it comes to a recipe sometimes some things don't go right but our last video did pretty good and i really had fun doing it so i want to continue our baking theme so let's go ahead and get started making these homemade chocolate chip cookies and let's see how they turn out So before we jump into this video, please click down below and subscribe, especially if you want to see more baking videos from your girl, um, please click down below and subscribe. If you already here, you probably watched like three or four videos, <laughs> just go ahead and subscribe girl. So I found this recipe online, <laughs> never used it before, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, my nose is kind of stuffy, so bear with me. So the first thing this recipe says is to pre Preheat your oven to 375, which mine has three, four more minutes, so we good. And in a separate bowl, here we're going to go ahead and mix our flour, which you need three cups of all-purpose flour, our baking soda, our salt, and baking powder all together. For the salt, it says to use sea salt, so I'm using one teaspoon of sea salt, which I already had, so I already have the... All right, I didn't have to buy this. Mm, okay. Um, because I use sea salt a lot. That seems like a lot of salt. One, wait, ooh, my eyes got blurry. A half a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. So I need a teaspoon of this. We're gonna level it off. A little extra guy in there, but I think it'll be okay. And I need to go find the half a teaspoon. I'll be right back. Alrighty, got the half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you want to make sure you level off this as well. I don't know if I'm supposed to like mix it together. It just says, well, it says set aside. So I'm just going to mix it. I guess if you have one of them shifter things, which I need to invest in more baking supplies. So I am going to get one of those things. So the next time I bake for you guys, I'll have all the proper except, um, set that aside. So cream together butter and sugars until combined. So I have my bowl here for my mixer. You're gonna get a cup of butter and it says salted butter. Thank God, cause that's all I got. Last recipe said unsalted and ain't nobody got time for that. Two sticks of butter, cause I have sticks of uh, salted butter and they're softened. That means you need to let them sit for at least a couple of hours, maybe like two until they come to room temperature. And I did that earlier. And you need a cup of light brown sugar, pat. That's why it's like this. So that means pat it down so you can make sure you have a cup. And you need a cup of regular white sugar. You ain't gotta pack that. So I'm just gonna put it in our mixer, put our mixer down, and we're gonna cream until combined. So I think it's creamed together. I'm actually gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm not super fancy and technical yet. I am going to eventually use my other camera to put on this table um, once I can get my new small tripod, which hopefully is gonna be the next week or so. But I just have to pick it up and show you guys what it looks like. And I'm also gonna scrape the bottom because sometimes this little thing does not get the bottom of this bowl. It looks creamed together, so. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to beat in our eggs and our vanilla until fluffy. So I'm using two large eggs and I'm going to put, add in two tablespoons of vanilla. That's a half. Two tablespoons of vanilla as this mixer, mixer is mixing all of this together. So until fluffy, I have no idea what that means. None at all. We're just gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna turn it back on and add the eggs. So 
each time I'm going to stop and go ahead and scrape the sides of the bowl down. I think this is fluffy. I have no idea what fluffy means. There's no pictures either, by the way. But I'm assuming this is what this person is talking about. When they say fluffy, so let me show you guys what it looks like. It looks kind of weird. I'm assuming that's what they mean. Now I'm going to add in like half of my dry ingredients and then um, beat it and then add in the other half. So. mix well so I'm assuming this is mixed well I'm going to lift it just so I can make sure the bottom of the bowl is incorporated because I told y'all sometimes it happens and I'm also going to be scraping the sides but it looks good oh my god I'm so surprised y'all I'm telling you the last time I made cookies Greg had bought me a hand mixer the one I have and I was like, no, I didn't even have a hand mix, mix with what I didn't have a hand mixer. I just had a whisk and bro, them cookies was terrible. I think I actually used the recipe that's on the it was on the back of like one of these things on the side. Yeah, look, chocolate chip recipe. I used that and it was terrible. I'm just gonna mix it one more time and then we're gonna add the chocolate chips. Well I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna start adding the chocolate chips. You need about two cups, so that's like a 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips. started shaking really bad y'all i'm not gonna lie i am feeling good about this and you can also freeze this dough like you can um, make the balls and like freeze it and i'm gonna show you because i'm not gonna cook all of these i think it makes how many cookies this night i think it makes like 24 cookies or something like that too bad greg isn't here he's actually working out so this works out for us because he's not here to eat the cookie dough or the cookies because I'm just gonna take this off. There's flour. These things are not easy. On Food Network, they make it look so easy to remove this. So I don't have a cookie scooper thing because like I said, I need to invest. But I do have an ice cream scoop, which I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna have to still touch it. And I got a cooking, a cooking sheet. I don't have no parchment paper either. But I got some Pam. So we're just going to lightly spray this. And last time I got it all over the floor. And I just got it on the floor again. So we're going to sit and slide it. Alright, spray the Pam. My mama name is Pam. So I'm just going to take like that much. And just plop it on there. And we're going to see what happens. I don't care if they're perfect or not. So I'm not like a stickler for that. I just want some cookies. I'm going to try to put four on each row. Okay, so I have two rows on my cooking sheet. I'm just taking the spatula and kind of just pressing it out a little bit. I mean, let's be honest, we have no idea how this is going to turn out as far as the baking wise. So this is how they look. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until they barely turn brown. Just wiping off the excess pan. And I'm going to come back and show you what the cookies look like. And then we're going to form the whole ice cream sandwich situation. Okay, so while our cookies are cooking in the oven, so far they look pretty decent. I'm really excited. I have a ton of... Oh my god. <laughs> I have a ton of dough left. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I'm going to freeze it. And let's take the scooper out. So to freeze the cookie dough, all you're gonna need is an ice cream tray and your scooper. And if you have more than one ice cream ice cube tray, that would be perfect, but I threw the other ones away. Just gonna scoop the cookie dough into the tray here. And once you get all the dough into the tray, you're just gonna freeze it, pop them out, stick them in a Ziploc bag, and they're good to go. 
So to cook these bad boys, all you need to do is preheat your oven to 375 again. As your oven is preheating, you can go ahead and pop the cookies in there because they'll be defrosting while it's preheating. And then leave it in there for the same amount of time, which is the nine minutes, and they'll be done. Okay guys, so our cookies are done cooling. I might say, these are some good looking cookies. What y'all think? They are not store bought, I promise you. I took them off the pan. These are my cookies. These are the cookies I made. They look really good. They look like store bought cookies. Oh my God. Okay, so I have my cutting board, a knife, and I have two different things of ice cream. I have a Millennium Crunch, which is one of my favorites, and vanilla, which is Greg favorite. Um, Zoe loves chocolate, so I don't really like chocolate and I wasn't about to buy extra ice cream, but she likes Millennium Crunch. So I got some plastic wrap, so I'm going to tear some pieces off because we're going to need them for our individual sandwiches. So I'm already ready. i seen this on on Facebook. I'm praying it's going to work. So you're supposed to like cut the ice cream while it's in the actual container. I don't know if I was supposed to let this sit out, but we're going to see if this works. And it makes slices of like ice cream. Watch your fingers, be careful because this knife is super sharp. It worked. So now it's gotta, oh well this was the bottom. So I'm gonna just take this and somehow magically, oh, it made like a little, a little, a little thigh, little patty, patty of ice cream. I'm gonna take it and put another cookie without breaking the cookie. The cookies are still really soft, but they've got the crispy edges. Now I'm just gonna take plastic wrap. I'm just gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. I mean, wrap it better than this. Don't be like me. And then you're gonna stick them back in the freezer so they can freeze. So I'm gonna do two vanillas and I'm gonna do two Millennium Crunch. That is it guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys in the freezer. You can serve them now or you can serve them an hour later so they're nice and cold, but that's it, they look so good. I can't wait to try them. But if you guys try this recipe or if you try this whole thing, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it tastes for you guys. I'm super excited, I've never successfully made cookies. Zara, I think she's ready to try them. <laughs> you want a cookie sandwich too? So I'm gonna get them in the freezer and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.